Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we highlight how to use the path extrusion feature included in Pointwise to quickly create structured and unstructured blocks. In this example, you can see I have started from a circular face consisting of five structured domains along with a database curve, which I would like to use in order to constrain the extrusion. So to begin, I'll first create a connector grid entity that is constrained to the database curve. Next, I need to add some grid points along this connector, so I'll dimension it using 41 points. I can also set the initial spacing on either end of the connector, and the final point distribution along that connector can be made visible using the Show Points option on the toolbar. Now when I go to create my extrusion, the resulting interior cells will follow the shape and point distribution that have been prescribed on this connector. To demonstrate this, let me first select all of the domains and then select the Path option from the Extrude submenu found below the Create menu in Pointwise. The Path panel appears and Pointwise by default has auto-assembled five domains into two faces which resulted in two blocks once the extrusion completes. I would rather have a single face for each of my domains, so I'll change this by first clicking the Delete All Faces button, clicking the radio button next to the One Face Per Domain option, clicking Assemble, and finally clicking Done. Next, I can select the connector I want to use for my extrusion from the Display window. After doing so, you will see that the Path Configuration and Steps fields are populated with information relating to how the extrusion will proceed. Once the path connector has been selected and direction indicated confirmed, then you can complete the extrusion by clicking Run and then OK. Notice that the path extrusion creates five structured blocks. I can also use the path extrusion feature to create an unstructured block. If I undo the last extrusion, delete my initial structured domain, and replace it with an unstructured domain, then I can create a single unstructured block using a path extrusion following the same approach used earlier. And that's path extrusions in Pointwise. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.